Hello, welcome to Create with Child. Today, I'll show you how to make this elegant card using the new Spellbinder 3D Tile Refraction Embossing Folder. This embossing folder measures five and a half by eight and a half inches long, so you can make two A2 size card, five by seven card, or even a slim line card. Here I'm just showing a couple examples I using different color cardstock. I think this folder is very elegant, doesn't matter what color you use. The sentiment I'm using is from Smooth Line Mix and Match Sentiment Set from Spellbinders Die Cutting Set. I am using Spellbinder Universal Plate System for my switch machine. The sandwich I'm using is a regular embossing folder and it works fine. To partially emboss a cardstock, I put what I want to emboss in the embossing folder and run it to my machine. Then I switch around to emboss the other side. I trim my car panel down to four by five and a quarter because I want to have a gold matte layer on the back. Glue my car panel to my matte layer, then glue to my car base, and I make sure my car base are open on the correct side before I glue it down. I die cut my sentiment congrats three times. Top layer using the light blue shimmer cardstock for micro recollection, and the other two layers just any white cardstock I had on hand. And I'm gonna run into my DIY machine. I put my sentiment down with the uh, purple arrow is that and put one at a time. That way, I'll make sure they don't stick on top of each other. I run it in my die cutting machine off camera with an embossing mat that makes sure when I peel it, it doesn't have any sticky boogie out.
Then I stick the two white cardstock sentiment together first and I'll glue the light blue one on the top. This is my favorite way to stick um, intricate die cut. It's less messy for me, but it's a personal choice. You glue down your sentiment however you feel comfortable with. After I just glue down my sentiment together and stick it to my car panel, just like that, no sticky residue. I find with Gyron machine, I was able to adjust my sentiment if I need it until I press it down completely, then it became permanent. Then I glue down some sequin from this call for confetti down on my car to give it a finished touch. I hope my video has inspired you to make cards. If you need to go shopping, please use the link I provided down below in the description box. And don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.